What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out best stolen WWE finishers in 2022. This year has brought us some uh, some pretty great matches, pretty great feuds, and also some finishers being used uh, to enhance either their storyline or a match. Man, the most uh, the I guess the infamous one I can think of is seeing uh, Edge hit the six one nine on uh, on Finn Balor at Clash at the Castle. Even though it, it didn't look as pretty, it just to see it was pretty damn awesome. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I thought that was pretty cool, man. So we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins Hell in a Cell match was absolutely brutal. Both men threw everything they had at each other and even some stuff that wasn't theirs. Seth mm -hmm. tried to hit the pedigree, but Cody reversed it and hit a pedigree of his, hit own. his own. Rhodes pedigree. made sure to get back at him later in the match. When Rhodes went for his finisher, Crossroads, Seth countered and used Cody's own move against him that was cool but it wasn't nearly as cool as what edge did at clash at the castle just was at talking event, about this edge and Rey mysterio teamed up to fight judgment day can we just say that i still i may need to do my favorite pay-per-views of the year if you guys want me to talk about that let me know down below i'm definitely gonna have to go back down memory lane but i i may have to talk about some of my favorite pay-per-views of the year in clash at the castle it's easily top two for me it's so so good of a show from top to bottom it's in my opinion still one of wwe's best produced shows best put on shows all year Damien Priest and Finn Balor. The match had a lot of insane and awesome action, but the craziest part was near the end. Edge mm, dropped Finn on so the middle good. rope, setting Balor up perfectly for a 619 from the Rated R Superstar. That was amazing to see, but unfortunately, it only got a two count. Yeah. This isn't the only finisher Edge stole in 2022, as you'll soon see. If we're talking about stolen finishers, we need to bring up Logan Paul. Yeah. The man is the master of borrowing WWE finishers. When the social media star was introduced as the Miz's tag team partner, Paul Paul got into a fight with Ray and Dominic Mysterio. This led to Paul taking out Dom with the Mrs. Finisher, the Skull Crushing Finale. Ironically, about five months later, Logan would use the same move against the A-lister. At mm -hmm. SummerSlam, the Miz and Paul fought each other one-on-one. -on -one. Both men pulled all the stops, which was made clear when Logan Paul got on the top rope and hit the Miz with a phenomenal forearm. Yeah. That was pretty cool, but what was downright humiliating was what Logan Paul did at the end. After almost accidentally knocking on his wife, the Miz was caught by his former tag team partner yeah, he was and given Skull move. crushing finale. Logan Paul beat the Miz using the A-lister's own finisher. Also, it's worth mentioning that in Logan Paul's first WWE match, he not only used Eddie Guerrero's Three Amigos, mm -hmm. but also used Latino Heat's Frog Splash. Back to the Miz. The which is, which is just, bro. I know he's in some kind of controversy right now, but outside of the controversy and um, his injury, uh, dude, killing it in the ring. That's all I can say. Dude is, he is a natural in the squared circle. Before he teamed up with Logan Paul, the most must-see WWE superstar teamed up with his wife, Maurice, uh, to take yeah, on this, Edge and Beth Phoenix. This is surprisingly, the two couples uh, fought uh, each other at the Royal Rumble, where some finishing occurred. In the climax of the match, Beth Phoenix borrowed her husband's finisher by spearing Bearing, Maurice. Yep. Edge then hit the Miz with the Glam Slam, which mm -hmm. shut down the moneymaker and got them the win. Good, as soon good, as Matt Rill good, started teaming with good, Randy fun Orton, match. the original bro started hitting the RKO whenever he could. Rill continued to do so in Teals in 22 yep. and create some truly spectacular moments. That was a nice like when he moment. struck from out of nowhere and caught Montez Ford in midair. However, while Matt Riddle was still in the RKO, someone else... That RKO was cool. Catching Roman Reigns in a spear with the RKO was the timing when that was perfect. Well, his finisher, the bro Derek. At Clash of the Castle, Real faced Seth Rollins. During the match, Real caused opponent in the triangle choke. Seth got out of it by stealing one of Matt Riddle's moves, the bro mm -hmm. Derek. Luckily for the original bro, he was able to kick out, but he still ended up losing the match. Later that same night, we saw some more finisher thievery. Drew McIntyre faced Roman Reigns in one of the Scottish Warriors' biggest matches of his career. Facts. Drew had to use everything he had to win, but so did Roman Reigns. The tribal chief stole his cousin's finisher when he planted yep. McIntyre with the rock bottom. Unfortunately, Roman didn't hit the people's elbow. A little later, Reigns had the tables turned on him. As the two beasts were slugging it out, this was a McIntyre fun match, a bro. Superman punch and then countered with, with a spear. spear. It was impressive, but it didn't get the win, and the Scottish warrior crumbled to the head of the table. So much happened in WWE in 2022, and you can see the best and worst of the year. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Clash at the Castle. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a great. Great PLE, bro, or pay per view if you want to call it, however you want to uh, use the acronyms. It was, 
I, I don't even know what to say. A lot of these um, uh, moments are from that show. If you have not seen Clash at the Castle this year, it's a show I can go back and watch for many years to come. Like sometimes I go back and watch WrestleMania 30. This is a show that gets into that category of just going back and watch. You can watch from top to bottom and just hear the crowd's excitement. It was uh, literally, I believe, the it, SummerSlam was the show that Triple H took over, even though the the match, the cards were, you know, uh, the matches were already set. This was a show he completely took over. No matches were really set in stone. I mean, I think there was like maybe one that was set in stone, but it, he built up the match, the card perfectly. Walter versus Sheamus, damn near stole the show. I think I, I, in my opinion, I think it did steal the show. It was just, it was just good all around, bro. A good all around PLE, man. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite best stolen finisher from 2022, man. And also let me know if I should talk about my favorite pay-per-views from this year. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown to me. Road 250K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.